All right. My favorite thing to tweet is hashtag YOLO. Okay. <laughs> so you only live once. Um, my quote is, I'm not afraid to die. I just don't want to be there when it happens. To me, this quote is saying that everything happens for a reason and you need to make the most out of your opportunities. Personally, I try to make the most out of like what I'm given every day, whether it's with my sports, my education at school, or in the workplace. Um, so today, I'm going to discuss for you how like these, or I make the most of my opportunities that I'm given. Um, so first, for sports. So I play water polo and soccer. And in a game, like if we're down, um, I don't let that stop me from playing my best because I don't want to regret giving up or anything. You know, you have to like make the best out of what situation you're in at all times. Um, so I mean, even if we're losing like 20 to four, it's happened. Um, I never like just let a random ball go in because I feel like giving up. Um, I try to push through it and like help my teammates get through it as well. Um, when it comes to school, um, normally I'm a good student. I try to do good, but there's always that one time where I'm really annoyed, where I don't want to study, or a teacher doesn't like me and they give me a bad grade. Um, but I just try to um, like shake it off and just kind of think, well, that one F isn't going to ruin my grade for the semester. It's just one thing I need to get rid of and move on from it. You know, you can't live in the past. You have to like keep. Um, like thinking of the future. Um, and lastly, for work, I'm a waitress and I have to deal with annoying customers all day long. And there's always like that one table that just like pushes me over the edge that just keeps asking for more and more things and I'm just so rude and I cannot handle it. But it's time like that I have to like step aside, just like take, take a breath and be like, you know what, just one day, one table, they'll leave in like 45 minutes just get over it because um, you can't live in the past you have to like keep pushing for the future and I mean everything happens to you for a purpose I believe that and everything comes around kind of thing um, so overall um, I mean I'm kind of afraid to die I can't say that I'm totally agree with this quote because I'm kind of afraid to die but I know it's gonna happen at one point another in my life I just hope that I mean, when the time comes that I die, that I will, I mean, I can't look back and like, but um, I hope that I did everything I can to make the most of my opportunities in my life. And yeah, so today I've discussed for you how I've made the most of my opportunities in my school, work, and sports. And I hope that you guys will too. Okay, Lindsay, I think you have an okay attention device. There's a good statement of your topic and what the point of view is that you have on the subject. There's a very good setup of what the supporting points are going to be. I think that organization helps you a lot in being able to develop the content, although it does seem strange that you've written it down and you have to keep going to those notes. Uh, that becomes a little bit of, dist of a distraction from the visual part of your presentation. Uh, the ideas that you have, they never go super deep, but there's always enough of them so that it's substantive on the point that you're talking about. Uh, there are a couple of times when I would like a, you know, it would be better if the story was more detailed instead of st dealing with an abstract idea you had a particular customer you were talking about or a specific <coughs> situation uh, in the uh, uh, the team situation with the uh, 
sports. Although the you know getting your tails hand, handed to you twenty four to nothing or whatever the score was, that I guess that's a pretty specific illustration. Um, the presentation issues, it's easy to hear you, so you're projecting pretty well. And I think you have a uh, good variety in your voice for the most part. The gestures are a little bit limited because you have the notes in your hand. Uh, that also all hurts your eye contact a little bit. I thought you were much better in the second half of your presentation than the first half. Um, and you look animated in your facial expressions for the most part. Anxiety seems to be coming out in your feet. You're crossing your legs awkwardly and moving around a little more. Then it, it just you just don't, never look like you're quite comfortable and confident in your position. It's not noticeable in your expressions and in your voice, but it is noticeable just like you, you just can't get to a, a place where you're the one who's in charge. You always feel it looks a little bit like you feel like you're the subject of being stared at, you know, that kind of thing. And that's the way you're reacting there. Uh, I do think it's a little strange that you think that you don't pass a class because a teacher doesn't like you. That's a weird one. I, if that was the case, half of my students would never pass my classes.